So the Tekken team just announced a new patch coming out on the 4th of October. That is uh, three days from now. Um, they announced it yesterday and I know everyone was very excited about it because this guy is finally going to get nerfed. We hope. We really hope. <laughs> but yeah, you guys know uh, the, the patch 5.0 came out um, some time ago and it was a, uh, I would say it was a pretty good patch. It really was like a, a bunch of the top, like top row here. A lot of these guys got nerfed. Geese got nerfed pretty hard. Oh, these three here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they were, they were hit pretty hard. Lydia is almost like taken out of the game. Where, where is Lydia? Does anyone even play with her anymore? But yeah, yeah, Lydia's gone, Fakaram, he's gone, and Leroy, he's, I think he got the better end out of all the uh, nerfs, but uh, still, people, we don't really see him much, like, a lot of people don't play with him in, like, big events, but yeah, they got, like, these three got toned down a whole lot, even more so than Geese did, and Akuma, what? What what happened? They didn't uh they didn't really nerf anything besides the demon flip three, losing its um counter hit tail spin. But they buffed him with the new tactics with his running one, doing that on block at the wall. That's that's a pretty crazy buff. I don't know why they did that. <laughs> Out of all the moves, they they make it something that's actually a good move anyways. But whatever. Hopefully um they tone him down some. Because he's still the best character on the game. Like, by a long shot. Down three and, you know, all of the, the, the meter use. How fast he builds it. It's just crazy. And next up, Zafina. She didn't get any, like, significant nerfs. I don't think she got any nerfs. Uh, let me know in the comments. What what did she get in the last uh, patch 5.0? And what do you guys think is going to happen to her in 5.01? So, um, I'm thinking that they're going to do something with maybe one move or two maybe down three will get a nerf or something they'll probably make it negative 14 i don't know i i have no idea but they honestly they they might not even do anything to her because of arslan ash losing a little bit more lately um even though he just won the takra cup <laughs> in pakistan but he's been more vulnerable with the character so the development team probably like oh she's okay <laughs> So they might not do anything to her. And this guy, I don't I don't even know where to begin, like as far as the amount of nerves that he needs compared to what they did to Leroy, Fakarum, and Lydia. This guy, like he completely avoided all nerfs. I think they took, what, maybe 10 points of damage off of his uh, raised drive tackle or something like that. It was, it was a very minuscule nerf. Very. Still got homing down 4-1. Still taking all your damage. All the damage in the world from one counter hit launch. If he is in rage mode and launches you, you're probably going to die from the rage drive combo. Um, because it just doesn't scale. It's, it's actually ridiculous how he can do that. And get away with so many like patches without getting that nerfed. As well as like the the difficulty to break out of his tackle. He has like, he, he really has single digit frames like for break windows on his tackle. Single digits. But that's okay. And it home, it homes too for some reason. Like it's, it's near impossible to sidestep his, uh, his tackle once he gets active. Yeah, it's, it's very hard to sidestep. It's, I don't know what they were thinking with this character. They they keep buffing him for no reason. And he's just avoiding all the nerfs. Hopefully they do something to him. Uh, Julia, I think she could use a little bit more toning down. Party Crasher still goes under highs like, you know, like no tomorrow. Yeah, I think that would be the one big nerf I would, I would have. If it can evade highs, at least make it not track at all. Make it completely linear like it used to be. But uh, that's that's the only thing I would um, do for Julia at this point without just completely killing her, because I think that um, what was that forward four one or whatever that string is? It looks very goofy how they nerfed it. 
that move wasn't even a problem. <laughs> Honestly, it was not that much of a problem. It was her her core gameplay, like neutral. Those elbows and how much damage she puts out from like any and everything. Yeah, those were the, the big problems. But yeah, that, that move not even wall sticking. Just to hit the wall and slide off real quick, that would have been great. But yeah, them not even doing that. Yeah, that was a goofy nerf. But uh, yeah, she could come down a little bit more too. But honestly, um, really those those few and this guy. It's it's a lot that he can use to be nerfed as well. Like just to bring him down a little bit to make him just a little bit harder to win with. Uh, yeah, it's there are so many people that like second this guy now or even main yeah last time um i saw jdcr playing he was using fang the mix-up is happening this weekend and kakoma fang knee fang <laughs> joker fang raccoon fang i'm just messing now raccoon is cool but um yeah this this character is he's a little bit over tuned i will personally nerf his um backwards tempo make it not have any auto guard make it so he can't block when he does it and so he doesn't travel so far away when he does it it's like a get out of jail free card and like his up forward two is negative 10 on block right but no one can punish it <laughs> except for uh, i think gigas might be able to punish it and maybe jack make it have no pushback if you block the move you should be able to punish it at least negative 10. i'm not gonna say anything just too drastic like negative 12 that'll be pushing it but negative 10 no pushback so if he does it and you guess right he gets punished yeah yeah and also just remove the um the ability of a shoulder to hit grounded <laughs> that that combo down back one plus two into shoulder against most of the male characters is um ridiculous same for the uh the, the slide four three into shoulder and open field against the bigger characters that's that's also silly yeah take all that stuff away he'll be fine but yeah i think um that's pretty much all i think that they're gonna do uh i don't think they're going to like buff the worst characters on the game which are these two yeah i don't i don't think they're gonna do that um so all the king fans in the channel you guys i, I don't think they're gonna do anything with him either the the new tactics in general i feel were very sloppily implemented like king has one of the worst new tactics moves in the game deadly boomerang yeah i don't i don't think um <laughs> maybe if they changed it to to maybe like up for three plus four make his most useless attack have some use because you actually can't like see that on reaction but yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe new tactics could get like a um, a nerf across the board or something. Maybe not be as many uh, plus frames. And do something like on hit. I don't know why on hit certain moves they just slide five character spaces away. Like Lars, his hell sweep, it, it pushes them so far back. He can really only do like dynamic one or back three. And everything else is just out of range. <laughs> It's just a, it's a silly, um, silly new tactic. I don't, I, I'm never, I've never been a fan of it, honestly. <laughs> Mainly because King sucks, and you know, Armor King, he was, while standing two, it got a nerf. I'm good. I'm, yeah, I'm good on the new tactic. I hope they just take it out of the game completely, but we know that's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> but hopefully, they do something to, to make it a little bit more, more balanced. Because some characters, uh, Claudio running too. Yeah. Dragging off four, four with three. Or, or Fang Wei got a power crush mid. <laughs> that, that has the new tactics. That's, that is crazy. Yeah, that, that, yeah, some, some characters are just much better than others when it comes to that. And hopefully they do something to kind of level it. A little bit make it more balanced but uh that's that's honestly out i think i don't think this is going to be like a every character gets something type of uh patch because i, I think it's just going to be a little bit of follow-up from 5.0 toning down the top tiers and um 
that'll that'll make the game that'll make the tournaments the rest of the TWT more enjoyable and less uh, saturated like with Feng Wei, Safina, Julia, all those same characters. You know, we have multiple top eights with multiple people playing with the same characters. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen um, if they if they do this right with the uh, nerfs. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. What, what do you guys think they're going to do on Tuesday's patch? Um, the Fina, is she going to avoid the nerfs? Marduk, does he get to avoid them again for like the 13th time in a row? <laughs> what do you guys think they're gonna do for King? Yeah, yeah. Let me know what you guys think, and um, I'll be um, I'll be covering the patch whenever it comes out Tuesday, and uh, you guys have a great one. Peace.